Ladies and gentlemen, so soon after Brett Kavanaugh's appointment to the US Supreme Court, it seems appropriate to talk about the role of the church in politics. But I'd like to take a bit of a different angle from what we might be used to. It's generally seen as a bad thing to have the church so involved as politics, and we've seen a lot of talk about that. There's no need for me to go down that route too. We can all agree, really, that a large group of people voting on the basis of what a small group of people say is bad for democracy. We can also agree that those people acting on the basis of assumptions that we don't all agree with is also bad for democracy. But what I want to look at today is why it might also be bad for the church. The first and fairly major reason why I believe that is should actually be fairly obvious to you when you think about it. That is what you think when I say evangelical church. Even just saying the phrase will give you an automatic image and it's probably a negative one. This whole political debacle, I would call it, has largely discredited the evangelical church. It's something that has been going on for a lot longer uh, than just Brett Kavanaugh or Donald Trump, but certainly over the past couple of years, it's become a lot more divisive. And it's a problem. It's a problem worldwide, not just in America. Allow me to illustrate. I probably would call myself an evangelical Christian, but I don't like using that term. And this is the first time I've mentioned it in this speech because I feel uncomfortable with it. I feel like people are judging me. And that's crazy. For a start, I'm not American, so regardless of where you think I might stand, I definitely didn't vote for Donald Trump. But it's also just ridiculous in general. In the West, we consider our, society, our societies to be multicultural and liberal and it's normal to be around atheists and Catholics and Muslims and Buddhists and the list goes on and we don't judge those people but evangelical Christians ah what do you think we lack empathy we're ultra conservative we don't think for ourselves, we're stupid, we reject science. And I have to agree that a lot of this problem is the church's fault, the church at large anyway. But the problem now is not how we got here, it's how we get out of it. Because this whole thing has made it really difficult to integrate into society. People live in a Christian bubble, an evangelical Christian bubble, or they don't at all. And if we can't integrate, how are we supposed to be what the church is supposed to be? How are we supposed to care for the poor if the poor are intimidated by us or believe that we don't want to help? How are we supposed to be at the heart of our communities if our communities don't know how to relate to us? How are we supposed to show people what our God is like if the image they have of us is so different from that and that's the saddest part because if people look at us and see what they think we believe our God is like then I can only come to the conclusion that we're doing a terrible job of representing that thank you for listening